welcome to another week of vlogging and um, I am Heather for those of you who don't know today is um, Saturday of February uh, 16th I had to think about what day it was <laughs> for a second and um, this is my vlog where I just kind of take you around throughout the week to see what stuff I am getting up to so as I said, for those of you who don't know, my name is Heather, and I am a United Methodist pastor of two small con member uh, rural churches in kind of Midwesternish Michigan. And I, um, in this vlog, I show you things that I've been knitting on and little bits of my life. I live here in one of the areas where one of my churches is, because um, I do have two of them. And I live in a parsonage, which is a house owned by the church, with my two children, Abby, who is 13, and Philip, who is 8, and our Rhodesian Ridgeback Flint. So we live here, and I am a full-time pastor, I am a full-time mom, and I am also a part-time student, as I am enrolled in a seminary and uh, seeking to get my Master's of Divinity degree. So I am busy. With that being said, I have not, I have barely gotten any knitting done in the last week because it has been so insanely busy. I feel like I have been going nonstop trying to just keep up with the amount of work that I have to do. My classes, I'm taking two classes and I'm taking them online and they started February 4th, so this is only the second full week of classes. It's finishing up now. And the amount of reading for these two classes is huge. It's so much more than my previous two classes. It's a little bit unreal. It's kind of daunting to think about keeping up with just the reading for that, plus all of the things I have to do for my sermon preparation, plus taking care of the kids, plus all of the other needs that my congregation has. So it's a little overwhelming and it's a little daunting at times, but we are keeping on with it. Um, and so I haven't gotten a ton of stuff knit in the last last week. So what I have been doing is when I start the vlogs on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Monday, just kind of depends on how the schedule works out. Um, I usually show kind of where I am at as the week is starting, and then I. We'll show it again on Friday at the end of the week so you can see kind of the progress that I have made. So I only have two projects going right now because, like I said, I don't have a ton of time to work on them and anything more than that just doesn't seem feasible or doable. So, so the one thing that I do have is a pair of, it's just vanilla socks. These are uh, the socks that go with me pretty much everywhere. And they're what I work on when I'm sitting at the bus stop, waiting for the kids, if we're at practices, uh, because both of my kids are involved in sports at the moment. So these are kind of the thing that's been traveling around with me. And it's, like I said, it's just a pair of vanilla socks. And they are for um, David, who is a friend of mine who is also a pastor. And so they're a lot bigger than what I normally I'm knitting obviously because they're not for me they're for a man um, so here's where I'm at I've got the leg done um, I did a fish lips kiss heel because that uh, works best for his foot it works best for me and knitting um, on the go and now I am working on the foot which I guess I'm about halfway ish done with the foot um, so I'm, I'm getting there there's a lot of knitting going on with these the yarn is uh, Knit Picks Stroll in the Inverness colorway, and it is doing this striping thing, which I was not really expecting it to do, um, but David likes it, and so I am I am rolling with that. So they're pretty dark because he wears his knit socks in the colder months when he preaches, and then the ones that I've knit him before have been more on the brown scale. So. Um, these will go with black or gray pants better than brown will. So that's what is kind of my on the go knitting. And really the thing that got the most attention because when I'm at home, I'm reading 
um, or studying or something. So I'm not really knitting. And my other project is kind of gigantic. So it's not really feasible for on the go sort of knitting. And I'm so close to being done. So close. I just need to like, I don't know, give myself a break or just take the gigantic thing with me to the bus stop or something. I'm not sure. But this is the Texture Time shawl um, by Stephen West. I started it back in October when it was the MCAL. Obviously, I didn't finish it. Um, I put it down for a while, and then I picked it back up, kind of deciding that in the new year, I am going to finish it. So um, it's, it's symmetrical, so I'll just show you the one side. But this is how um, the one side looks. It's on needles, and I'm doing the border right now which is over 600 stitches so i can't really stretch it out and show you without dropping stitches and that would make me sad so i'm going to not do that but i will show you the border so here is the border and i am almost done i have one more of these gray repeats and i've already done like the hard funky part and now it's basically it is four rows and a bind off that is all i have left to do and I just really just need to sit down and do it. Four rows of stockinette. That's it. That's it. And a bind off. And this is done. And I can do something else. Because while I love this and it's really beautiful, you get tired after a while of things that are this big and would like to be done with them. And because it's been going since October, I'm ready to be done. So that's where that is. So maybe, maybe. Maybe this week that will be finished. Um, maybe if I knit like one row a day, I can get it done or something. I don't know. It's kind of crazy to think about. Um, this week coming up will be interesting again. Uh, the kids do not have school on Monday because it is President's Day. Um, so this will be the fifth week in a row that they have not had a full week of school. The previous ones have been due to uh, bad weather. They had another two snow days last week. That is 13 days off of school for weather so far this year. It's a little crazy. So, and there's another kind of storm coming Tuesday night. They seem to come through on Tuesday nights for some reason. So, I don't know. It would be nice. It would probably make me a lot more productive if they would go to school. <laughs> so, that, so that's happening. And then Tuesday, I have to have a procedure done. Um, so Tuesday won't be very interesting or very productive. So I've got to get a lot of stuff done around Tuesday. So yeah, so we'll see what the week ends up looking like. I'll take you along for it as I go. Um, right now, I got to get back to doing some very, not very interesting <laughs> reading. And um, I will talk to you guys later. <music> Today is a Sunday, February 17th, and I'm kind of excited because I am getting ready to bind off the border of my texture time. Finally. I have no idea how long this is going to take because there's so many stitches, but I'm just really glad to finally be at that point where I am going to start binding this off, and that's going to be awesome, and I can cast on something else. I kind of over the last couple of days, I just decided, you know, there's only four rows left to knit on this. I'm just going to sit down and do it and give myself a little bit of time for that. So um, I have a video that I have to watch in a few minutes, and so I'm going to start binding off as I watch that video. So the bind off has commenced. I've been working on it about an hour while I watch this video, and I'm not really very far. So I'm here, and all I've really gotten done is this. So it starts there. It's like two sections. <laughs> That's it. And I still have a lot more to go. That's an hour. 
is just that. This is massive, and it's not going real fast. It's an interesting bind-off. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it exactly. I think it's going to require a soak and some laying flat because it has a tendency to want to curl. Um, so maybe when I soak it and lay it flat, I hope it maybe it'll lay a little nicer. I'm thinking that's going to end up needing to happen. So there we are. Bind off. I just got home from putting Philip on the bus and now I'm kind of in like this frantic rush around stage a little bit where I'm trying to like finish up some things today because I have to have um, an upper GI endoscopy this well I guess it's technically afternoon because it's at like noon but I'm I have a lot that I have to get done in any given week and so I'm trying to cram as much stuff in this morning um, because after I'm done and I get home, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot because of the anesthesia. And I'm usually a little bit slow to kind of wake up out of that. So it could be really interesting. I am supposed to have a meeting tonight. Um, we'll see how that goes. I told all of my people to pay attention to their emails just in case I am not up to having a meeting this evening, which is possible. I'm hoping it'll be okay, but we'll we'll have to see how it all goes tonight. So that's today. I have not bound off any more of my texture time because yesterday was so busy. I was trying to write a reflection that's due this evening because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it today. So I was trying to get that done. We had to go visit my mom because she needed some help with some stuff. I didn't take any video while I was there. And then just, you know, starting to prepare for Sunday's sermon and getting bulletins out and all of the reading that I have to do this week because it's a lot of reading this week. And I have a paper due in my other class on Monday. And so I'm kind of losing a day is, is kind of stressing me out just a little bit, but I think it will be okay. I got through everything last week and there was a lot last week. So I'm just trying to take it one day and one week at a time and not panic too much. So I am going to go and uh, take a shower because I have to do that before the procedure and then um, do a couple more things before I have to take off and have a scope stuck down my throat. So I just wanted to take a second. It is um, Tuesday evening and um, everything went fine with my endoscopy. Um, I am feeling a little groggy and I'm gonna go to bed, but I wanted to take a second and show you that I finished the bind off for my texture time shawl, which I'm so happy about because I was ready to be done with this. And so I am done now and ready to move on to something else. I definitely need to give this a bit of a soak um, because the bind off, the way that the bind off is, it kind of creates like this hem and that's kind of bunchy. And so I think uh, just a, a soak and then a lay flat, I definitely do not want to stretch this because this thing is kind of monstrous. I apologize about my dog making strange noises right now. Um, so it's done and it feels really good to have it, to have it done. And so tomorrow I think I will probably give this a little bit of a bath and lay it lay it flat. I kind of took advantage of the fact that I did not have, um, I was under anesthesia today and I wasn't really supposed to do much of anything, so I kind of took advantage of that and used it to finish off the shawl. And I'm really glad that I did because like I said, I'm just kind of ready to move on to some...
car waiting to get Philip from the bus. And the rain has turned into hail. Oh my gosh. You can see it bouncing off the sidewalk and it is so loud you can probably hear it hitting my car. It is Thursday, February 21st and I'm getting ready to cake up this beautiful mini skein set from Legacy Fiber Arts. This was the December um, Great Knittish Skein Off set which is five 20 gram minis and I really, I think they're really really beautiful. So I'm getting ready to cake those up because they are going to become a pair of bundled up socks. So this is a pattern by Mina Phillip, the Knitting Expat, um, that uses up like scrap yarns or mini skeins to make this really cool um, pattern. And so I'm going to cake those up and get those ready to cast on because I did actually finish my texture time shawl, which I will show um, and I have a little bit of a better way to show it because I don't have a good way to show it right now. Um, but I will show it a little bit later. So that's all right. Do. These guys are all caked up and ready to become a pair of bundled up socks. This guy's getting really blown out because it's a really bright, really pretty green. But they are going to be bundled up. So socks. I thought I'd just take a second here to show you that my texture time is finished. And it is massive, and I have like a billion ends to weave in. But it is done. <laughs> Look at how big this thing is. Like, you can't even see me. My arms are not long enough to like do all of this. So yeah, so still like a million ends to weave in. Um, Steven's whole thing about like the weird twistiness did not work for me. I don't know if it's just it's probably just me that I wasn't able to do this, but there are so many ends to weave in now. And yeah, so that's gonna take a while. That's gonna be a project, but it's done. And I'm not even sure how you're supposed to wear this thing because like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how you would wear this. Like a gigantic, like, look at it. It's wrapped around me and it still goes beyond my waist. I don't know. It's huge. This thing is huge and monstrous. So I'll have to figure out how exactly, um, you know, where I can like hang myself with this. It's so ridiculously big. Um, but I, I really like it. I think it's really, really, really cool. Um, so yes, it is finally done. Hi guys. So now it's Friday, um, February 22nd. And I thought I would just take a second to kind of wrap things up on the vlog for this week. Um, I think I've pretty much shown you all of my knitting. I don't have anything here to show you. I cast off um, the texture time and I, um, I'll post a video of that because I can't, it's so big, it's hard to show that. I am still working on weaving in the ends. Um, that's kind of a daunting task. And I'm telling myself and this is probably really stupid, that I can't cast anything else on until I weave in the ends. So I caked up my mini skeins to knit the bundled up socks by Mina Phillip, and I showed you that yesterday in a little video. Those are still waiting to be cast on because I really want to finish this shawl So and get those ends taken care of because they're kind of driving me crazy. There's so many of them. And there's so many of them it's driving me nuts so I really want to take care of that so that's what I've been bringing with me um, in the car when I pick up the kids from the bus and I'm like weaving in a couple of ends while I pick them up I have not had much knitting time at all this week it has been just kind of a weird week um, I, I mentioned earlier in the week that I had an upper um, GI scope done on Tuesday and that came back fine I didn't really show anything um, but then Abby got sick and she was throwing up so then she was home from school on Wednesday and yesterday was just kind of a weird day it was just one of those days and so I have a lot of reading still to finish up this week 
So I'm not going to say a whole lot right now other than um, thank you everyone who tuned in and kind of followed me along on this week. It was definitely a weird week. Um, and I'm going to go back and look at the videos because I'm not even sure like what all is there to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so I'm going to go back and look at that and get that stuff edited and taken care of and maybe be able to get this uploaded later today. So thank you so much for being here for this wild week of a vlog. I don't even know. I feel, I still feel kind of out of it and spacey. So I'm trying to kind of focus and center. I've been doing a lot of reading this morning for school. And so I needed to take a little bit of a break and make my eyes stop like uncrossing from all of the reading and just kind of sign off with you guys. Um, nothing next week from me. Um, but I do hope to be back with you in two weeks with another vlog. I did want to mention, and I, I haven't really been doing that, if there are patterns that I'm talking about or specific yarns or yarn dyers that I'm talking about, I have been putting links in the down bar here on YouTube. That's the extent of what I do for any kind of show notes um, because I don't have a ton of time to put it together. And I can usually manage to just throw in a link here and there as needed. And that's really all that there has been. So I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for watching.